Flavor Squad, it's your girl Fashion Nisha here to give you all the flavors. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing Entrepreneur Life episode 2 or 3. I don't know. I think it's going to be episode 3. And I'm going to be giving you guys a work area tour. So let's get right into it. This area is where I do most of my sewing and all my sewing supplies are over here. So this is my sewing machine. I have the Brother SE 400 and it's able to do embroidery and sewing. These are all my threads that I have. And this is just personal stuff. A little smell good over here. Um, my drawers. This is where I keep my scrap fabric. This is where I keep my tools for sewing. This is also more scrap fabric and patterns and stuff. Um, this is my embroidery tools. Like this, you have to put this on the sewing machine to embroider. You just have to attach this and put a different foot on your sewing machine to embroider. All my hoops and things are in there. Um, this has nothing to do with workspace, but this is my hair stuff. These are my products for my hair. This is just random stuff, and this is like random mail and stuff like that. Right above here, we have this painting. My boyfriend actually drew out my logo, and I painted it in, put glitter on it, and everything. So this is my painting for my brand, Be Dynamic change, progress, growth. You know, you gotta live by it. I believe in it, it works. You just gotta do it, okay? So that's my painting for Dynamic. Over here is all my heat press supplies. I also have all of my website things over here. These are my poly mailers for t-shirts for Dynamic. So you guys are getting the first look at this because we haven't started that yet. Um, these are also poly mailers for just anything you order from the website, your order will come in these. This is a scale. These are my labels. Here I just have some random fabric that I'm not really using right now, so I just put it up there. Um, in this rack, I have my Teflon sheets, my decal papers, and in this one I have my HTV, my heat transfer vinyl here. Down here, I just have some Avery papers where I make labels, tags, and things like that. In here are my decals, my tags, my thank you cards, other thank you cards, my business cards that go inside of orders when you guys order. Here are just some extra t-shirts and things I have. And sometimes I put orders here when I'm done. This is what I use to um, just keep track of custom orders and things that I need to order for myself and for the business like I knew that I needed to order all these colors in vinyl which I already have so I wrote it up here just so I won't forget because remember I forget and then somebody order something and I think I got it and I don't got it and then I have to go to Amazon and then Amazon be like two days shipping but it's really five days because you know Corona anyway so yeah that's what I use that for it comes in handy you know comes in handy this I got from this I got from Hobby Lobby. She created a lot she loves. So I think it goes really well in my room. I'm creating things. I'm creating a life I love. You know, I'm doing what I want to do. This is my heat press. This is what makes most of the magic for my website. Um, I cut with my Silhouette Cameo 3. This is my computer that I use. My computer is usually right here or sometimes I pull this out and put my computer on top of here. This is my hat press. This is what I use to create hats such as this. Right here I have my printer that I never use because I use the home printer. I use a regular inkjet printer at home as well and this is also an inkjet printer. Nothing wrong with it, I just don't use it. These are blank t-shirts that I have just in case anybody orders custom t-shirts, hoodies, whatever. I have some on hand to get those out pretty quickly. Um, 
And right here I have my, what is this called? Drawer cart. And in here I have scrap vinyl. Sometimes you might just need like a letter or something that got messed up or you might just need a small little logo like this. And I keep the scraps so I won't have to waste a full sheet of vinyl. Um, in here I have other supplies for heat pressing. So part two of the work area tour is where I film some of my YouTube videos, usually natural hair videos or sit down talking videos are right here. I got all of this stuff from Hobby Lobby. Y'all, I fell in love with this picture because I really want to travel. I was supposed to travel a lot in 2020 and then Corona, but that's okay. Cause we healing, the world is healing and that's all period, it's gonna happen. Um, I got this from Hobby Lobby. I was looking at this for months. And I said, it's too much. I'm not going to get it, but I had to get it. I had to get it. I love paint, gold, and white. If you haven't noticed, I really love paint, gold, and white. So, yeah, I got this also from Hobby Lobby. It's not the best when it comes to writing on it with chalk and stuff, but this is an ivy vine that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just wanted to add a little pizzazz to my area. You know, got a cute little 1908 up in there, you know. I also got these two from Hobby Lobby, but this is something I made. It's actually just a wooden elf, and I put the um, glitter on there. I put this on there and the fur on there. I just use hot glue, it's really easy. If you guys wanna know how you can do this, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll create a video for you guys. So yeah, that's my YouTube area. That's pretty much it. That's my work area to where my room is pretty big, so I have like a one side for working and one side for sleeping. Y'all might never see the sleeping side because, yeah, no. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you made it to the end, I miss with you, and that's my period. May your curls pop, and I never stop, Lady Squad.